YouTube, Little Bam coming to you with another reptile video, and today's talk is about chameleons. Chameleons are an awesome, awesome reptile. I love the colors. I love how their eyes can go any direction. Their little hands that are like this. Um, when their tongue shoots out, their hunting process is just awesome. Uh, chameleons, they need humidity. Um, a lot of people, they spray their tank down with a mister. I have a mister and I have, I use the Zoomed fogger and I also use the Zoomed um, rep to rain system on mine. Um, like I said, everybody does their stuff different. I've been doing this a long, long time. I used to own three pet stores and this is what I do. I love them. Um, everyone asks me, where's all your reptiles? Where's all your reptiles? Well, you know, when you get a female in your life and you know, they, she loves my reptiles, but when I came to Tennessee from Louisville, I had uh, tons and tons of animals, but we've been winging them down and settled down, and all I have left now is three reptiles left. So these, I, I treat them like my kids, man. They're my babies. Um, a chameleon does not need a tank. You do not have to have an enclosure. You can get a chameleon and just buy you a ficus tree or whatever type of tree, and nine times out of ten, the chameleon is not going to leave it. I prefer keeping mine in a cage just because I have other reptiles. I don't want her to get hurt. I also have a pit bull. Um, so I prefer getting a cage. You want a screen cage. That means lots of ventilation. Chameleons don't thrive good in enclosures or glass tanks. They want air ventilation. Um, as far as heating, I run... Um, 150 watt spot on one side and a 60 um, heat bulb on the other um, they also require UVB and I use UVA do they have to have it no but I use UVA and UVB because I want my reptiles to thrive so I usually get the ZooMed um, matter of fact I got the bulbs right over here. Come on. I use these type of bulbs. The ZooMed Daylight Blue. It is great. Now back in the day, ZooMed, every time you buy a bulb, it'd blow in less than 30 days. But they've really improved, and these lights last forever. And you can see it says uh, UVA, and that's what I like, UVA. So it gives the daylight, the heat, and the UVA. Um, as far as vitamins and minerals, I use the Reptical with D3. And I'm using the Flunkers uh, Multivitamins and Minerals. I give my cricket, um, I said my crickets. I give my chameleon crickets, millworms, hornworms, all types of different species. Because it'd be like you eating a hamburger every day from McDonald's. You're going to get burnt out. Nobody wants to eat the same thing every single day. So it's very key to give them a variety. I don't recommend going to pet stores because the cost is outrageous. Um, I go through Critter Depot. And for my reptile supplies, I go to Triple L Reptile. That's the only two places I mess with, for real. Um, chameleons, um, they like to climb. So you don't want a tank that goes long-wise. You want a tank that goes vertical-wise, tall. So what I did, I bought the ZooMed, um, the biggest enclosure they got is four feet tall, I think by 24 by 24, and that's what I have Joker in. Joker is my, um, uh, I think it's called Emboli Chameleon. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you know what I mean. And I got him when he was born. He's born on... July 1st so he's about to be one and when I show him to you look at his size and the size comes from the proper lighting and eating I've seen chameleons so skinny that they look like a branch like they were literally look like a stick um, I like a chameleon to feel natural habitat so you want it to be kind of crowded I see a lot of chameleon videos on YouTube, and y'all might have a little pothos plant in there and some sticks, and not only does the setup look terrible, but 
The chameleon doesn't, chameleons don't really like to be held. It stresses them out. Chameleons, you can take them out. I'm not saying you can't. You can play with them, put them on your hand, let them roam around, but you want to do limited, unlike other pets like maybe a dragon. Um, chameleons are just, they're kind of just independent animals. They want to be left alone and just climb and hunt. So I'm going to let you see my setup and how I do my chameleon. Like I said, this is my preference, and you just tell me. Let's check it out. This is Joker's setup. He is in a zoom ed tall, double dome up top, water, uh, his uh, fogger, and his rain system. Let's open up the cage and let's see if we can find Joker. Um, now, I do have the rain system. As you can see, it's raining now. I have a mister here. And I have one here. The, there he is. There's Joker. Say hey, Joker. Say hey, buddy. You see his size? He's not even one yet. Chameleons and bearded dragons usually take 18 months to be um, full grown. He's not even a year. And he looks bigger than chameleons that I've seen that are three, four years old. His tank, I have seven of the Zoomed... Uh, twist vines then I went to the dollar store and I just bought flowers and I just sewed them in zip tied them in and as you can see there's this fog system going and that fog is giving them it collects water at the top so it kind of drips like rain and it also gives humidity see I'm getting scared it's okay Joker and then they say don't put your your chameleons by windows, but as you can see, I have my chameleons surrounded by windows because the natural UV light from the sun, it's only going to help. So I'm running two, not one, but two four-foot lights on each side. A lot of people like to put their lights up top, but chameleons, they can choose where they want to go. So I got the UVA, I got the spot, the four-foot UVBs. And I haven't had any problems. And as you can see, Joker is absolutely humongous. He's huge. And I'm from Louisville, and now I live in Tennessee. So he's always like bright orange or bright red. So it just represents where I'm from and everything. And I just absolutely love it. So that's my tank set up. I think it looks really good. I've gotten so many comments about this tank. Uh, now I have people wanting me to build them these custom tanks. So I think that's what I might start doing. Something fun and give me something to do. And, you know, like I said, I love my animals. Um, what else about chameleons? Um, as far as their substrate, I see people put pebble rocks and sand on their videos. That's horrible, man. That chameleon's tongue shoots out. Well, mine does about... 12 to 13 inches and if he catches anything wrong he's bringing it in it's not like he's going to shoot his tongue out and then spit it halfway through him retracting it it's going to go in his mouth and he's just going to keep chewing because he's hungry so you want to watch the impaction once again so this is little bam hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and i'll shoot you another video soon